Instead of being tied within Europe, we can now do trade agreements with um, countries all over the world. And by the way, the Commonwealth countries who we discarded when we went into Europe, they're great trading nations to be tied with. And uh, you know, if India, Australia, Canada, these are, these are very, very wealthy and wonderful trading nations. And to re-engage with them directly, I think will be a huge I and mean, it's a fantastic opportunity. India, you know, fastest growing economy in the world. Um, to re-engage with India and have a trade agreement with India would be a really major step forward. And Europe is a declining part of world trade. It's now down to about 12% and in about five years time it'll be 9% of world trade. It's a very important market for us. Uh, we're one of the fastest growing companies in Europe, but it's, it's only 15% of our, our trade. And, and the, the fastest growing sector of, is, of course, in the Far East, China and, and Far Eastern countries, where we're growing by about 80 or 90 percent a year. And that, that's where the opportunities are, not within Europe. You won't know this, but Jean-Claude Juncker this morning has just said, Britain will regret Brexit soon. As somebody who, who manifestly pushed Brexit, do you have a scintilla of regret about how it's worked out? Well, if, if John Gord Juncker is saying that, he's always wrong, so he'll be he's wrong again, and he's absolutely wrong this time. So no regrets from you? None at all. I think it's an absolutely wonderful opportunity to, to remove trade barriers with the rest of the world uh, and to, to focus ourselves on what are the fast-growing markets in the world, the really exciting ones.